Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nice. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are talking about Tough Rider Knives Mini Click. So, been carrying this guy for over a month and figured it's time I finally do a review on it. I, I carry this guy every day at work because, well, at my job I gotta ride a lot and they don't allow me to conceal carry anything. I, well, first off, I'm also not old enough to conceal carry anything. But this guy has multiple purposes because it is a tactical pen, so this is hard aluminum. So if I ever got in a situation where, God forbid, I'd have to use something to protect myself with, I have multiple options. All right, so this guy is just about an ounce, 1.05, we'll say we'll round up, ounces. get you some measurements so this is an aluminum pen and then steel uh, mechanism on the inside let's see we're I think we're slightly over the five mark I'd call that eighth five and eighth of an inch right so not too big they do actually give you O-rings too, because the aluminum body is kind of slick. So they give you O-rings, which actually really help with your grip. Here too, they help a little bit. The clip's actually very nice. I just say this was, uh, I, I, so when I'm at work, I have a polo on, right? You got the three buttons. On the bottom button, right below it, there's that loop of clothing, right where the stitch is. I just slide that right in there, diagonal. So this kind of, this will touch my chest throughout the day, but. Um, uh, it kind of just slides right in there. And then that much, having that much out is actually handy because it gives me something to grab to pull out. And then I'm able to click it and write. I will say that the mechanism on this guy when I first got it was really grindy. And it still kind of is, but it's breaking in. You guys hear that? It used to be even worse. I think if I push it to the side a little bit. No. Oh. It used to be really grindy. It definitely needs some time to break in. Uh, let's see. Price on this guy was $85. I bought this at Monkey Edge because I live in Arizona, in Mesa. There are storefronts like 15 minutes from me. So I went and bought a uh, small plain Jane Sabenza, an S45EN that was left-handed, and I bought this guy. So yeah, it was an expensive day for me when I bought this, but... This guy is made here in the valley too. It's made here in the valley. Tough Rider is a uh, Arizona company, which is the main reason I bought this too. I like to support my local companies. But this guy also takes the Fisher Space Pin refills, which are $6.50 if you, you can get them refilled if you want, but you gotta send them to Boulder City, Nevada. Or for six ninety nine, you can buy one of them. So, really, they write great, though. They really do. They write phenomenally. They they write really well, which is uh, awesome. Because I paid eighty five dollars for the pen, but the pen serves more than one purpose. It's a tactical pen, right? Which is why they call them tough writers. It's meant to be something that you can use as. A, a tool for pressure points, say, right? Like on here, on the wrist, uh, elbows, right? But it's also meant to be a writing tool. So yes, it is kind of heavy for a pin. Kind of back heavy for a pin. But I will say it does actually write really well. And since you're resting it in the crook of your finger, or sorry, crook of your hand, you really don't feel it all that much. And it does write really well. The, the ink flow on this guy is, is amazing. So the fish, the Fisher Space ink refills are amazing. I think it will also take, I think it takes some of the Parker G2 refills. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I researched it when I first bought it, which was over a month ago. So my memory's not that exact. But let's 
the you can definitely do the space the parker space pen refills will do right which are the pressurized they'll write through oil they'll write through what is it they'll write in a vacuum i don't know if they'll write in water some pens will write in water i don't i'm not sure if this guy will or not but it is pressurized which means the ink comes out as you write because there's there's gas in there and so as as you write the gas expands and pushes the ink out This guy really does smooth out. When you first get it, you're like, ah. But they definitely break in. And so it's definitely something, if you're someone who likes to fidget, <laughs> right? If you're someone who has ADHD or you're just a high energy person. They had another brand there that was really nice. Monkey Edge does, they're like $115 a piece. They're pretty good too, and their uh, their action out of the box was super smooth. The overall experience with this pen, though, I would say, is good. Eighty five dollars for aluminum pen, USA made. It's I'd say it's a little on the steep side, but. Like I said, they also have to mill, right? They have to mill the aluminum. Uh, the clip is, I think, just steel. It's just powderized, like a powdered coating on it. I think these are Allens that hold the clip on, so if you don't want the clip, you're able to take it off. And I think they do have filler tabs, too, that you can do. But I think those are on the website. I don't think they come with the pen. Now, some things I would probably change about it would probably be the rings, make, maybe making them a little bigger or get like a tackier rubber. Because when your hands are wet, this is kind of slick. I think if they did maybe some kind of milling on here for grip and the rubber, it would be very good. The clip does not get, actually the clip does not really get in the way. And if it is in your crook, you actually really don't feel it because of the way it's kind of swooped. It actually really doesn't bother you unless you're really going up like this. Then you'll get a bit of a spot right there. But otherwise, if you're just writing like, and you can swing it around like this. Actually very comfortable. And these rubber O-rings too, they kind of, it, it provides like a tactile experience while you're using it. That kind of gives you a feeling of, yes, I'm writing, and you're kind of, you kind of get to feel what you're writing. Which is kind of nice. The clip, it works phenomenally. The, quick, the, the clip works amazing. I've never had this fall off of my shirt. And I'm doing all sorts of, you know, I, I'm bending over, I'm moving side to side, I'm bumping into things. Because, you know, when you're busy and you got a bunch of customers, you just, you know, you got to move fast. You got to grab stuff from below, up above. This really doesn't get in the way. I've had a few times though, I will say, where this has kind of stabbed into me. <laughs> like it's worked its way like this. And I I was like, I'm like, ow, what is that? It's my pen. But if you carry it in a proper shirt pocket like so, you know, like down in the pocket, that, pro that I don't think that'd be a problem. Now, would I recommend this pen to someone? If you like your EDC gear and you've got the money for it, yeah. And you, you want a tactical pen? I mean, this this is a tactical pen, right? So it has more than one use. So it allows you to carry more than one thing. If you're not in a very knife-friendly area and you need something that you can use for self-defense, this is a good option as well. I will say too, that the anodization work they do is amazing. The pen overall, not really any gripes with. Maybe the mechanism, I think it should still be a little smoother. I think it's still breaking in, but for $85, I think you should probably have a smoother mechanism. You know, if that means you have to coat it, go ahead and coat it. But uh, it, it really should be a smoother mechanism. I think they could fix that by maybe PVD coating this whole top area. So it's just a coating on coating. Those tend to actually move pretty all right. Or just keeping their tolerances a little better. Part of the thing you're paying for for USA Made 
is yes, the workers are being treated right, but the product should also be flawless. You know, and there's sometimes I click this where I'm like, oh yeah, I still get that little bit of grit and the sound that it makes, you know, like how there's certain sounds or when you're writing with a pencil and the one side's sharp and one side's dull and you hit that one nick on a pencil and it sends like a feeling from your arm to the back of your neck. I kind of get that when I click this sometimes. Most of the time it's all right, but I do think for $80, $85 that they could mill it a little better. I don't know, if you guys own one of these, let me know. Maybe, maybe it just needs to break in a little more. That other brand though that they had there that was more, I might try one of those and see how they do. They're not a tactical pen, they're, they're just a nice everyday carry pen, right? But I do think that this would be a better option over their full size that I held. The full size is just way too big. If you're looking for a compact EDC pen, I still think this is a good option, especially for the money. You know, it's it's cheaper than a tactile pen co knife. It's it's cheaper than you know a lot of the other high end pens, except for maybe if you do a big idea design. But I'm pretty sure they're those are made in China. And the reason they, these are so much cheaper is they're using aluminum instead of titanium, which aluminum actually will over time hold up better than titanium. It does have a better strength to weight ratio. Titanium is really used because it takes a good finish and it's viewed as a premium material over something like aluminum. But as far as have I enjoyed carrying this? Yes. Would I buy another one? Probably not just because I already have one. But like if this guy ever broke, would I buy another one? Yes. Let me know what you guys think of this guy. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have one, tell me your experiences with it and if you like it. As always, guys, thank you for watching and stay sharp.